Muskoka Card Collector here bringing you a different type of video. So I'm going to start off by saying that this one is a TTM video. So I've gained some inspiration from guys like Tony Black, Autographs 2000, and Angry Old Man. Uh, you know, finding cards are, are hired to do, and uh, I've got lots of TTM fuel. There's lots of players I'd love to get autographs from, so I followed some of their inspiration and sent out some cards. Started about two and a half, three weeks ago. And today was my first bunch of cards that have come in. And I got to say that I'm quite happy with the ones that have come back already. I think I knocked it out of the park, in my opinion, given the players that I've gotten back. So to start off, we're going to pick one here. Okay. And uh, this player uh, was born to a family of 13 kids um, or had a family of 13 kids, boys and girls, Kirkland Lake, Ontario. 5 feet 10 inches tall, 163 pounds, played left wing, and played in the NHL from 1954 to 1972. His nickname was Tricky Dick or Duffy. So here we go. We've got Dick Duff. Beautiful card. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have more of him to send away. Uh, he sent this back in five days, which is amazing. And uh, you can see the autograph there. Nice, sharp, blue Sharpie, and um, inscribed with Hall of Fame 2006. So Dick Duff played for the Leafs, the Rangers, the Canadians, the Kings, and the Sabres. Played a total of 1,030 games, scoring 330 goals and 234 assists. And the other notable thing is that he won six Stanley Cups, four of them with the Montreal Canadiens, and two of them with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And of course, uh, he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame uh, probably after a long wait in 2006. So... Mr. Dick Duff, I, I really appreciate you sending me that, and I'll put it over there. So the next one I got is for a player that I've always enjoyed, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint here. He he was a Leaf, not once, but twice. So this particular player was born in October 25th, 1966, 5'11", 194 pounds, played left wing. Now, that being said, he started off his career as a defenseman. And it wasn't until, I think, really the 1985 World Junior Championships where the coach moved him to a forward um, that uh, he started his career as a forward. He was selected first overall in 1985, and he played in the NHL from 1985 to 2000. So doing a little bit of research, I actually didn't know his nickname. And apparently his nickname was Captain Crunch. So with no ado, we've got Wendell Clark captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I sent them three cards. I got three wonderful cards back with blue Sharpie autographs, nice and clear. This one, unfortunately, um, you know, it's, it's on a blue background. Um, but, you know, I was excited to try TTMing and I sent them these three cards that I found. So of course, Clark pay, played for the Leafs, the Nordiques, Islanders, Lightning, Wings, and Blackhawks. You know, some notable things, um, you know, when he was uh, a Leaf, he was traded Probably at his prime to the Nordiques for Matt Sandin, which was quite the trade for uh, the Leafs. You know, the Nordiques then became the Avalanche. He, he got into a, uh, you know, a dispute. I think he got traded uh, to the Islanders. The Leafs then picked him up from the Islanders and gave, a, I think it was a first round draft pick, which ended up being Roberto Luongo. Uh, but he, uh, Wendell Clark, again, gritty, tough guy, 793 games played. One heck of a shot. He scored 283 goals, 289 assists, uh, and he racked up a whopping 1,690 penalty minutes. And, you know, he went up against all the big guys, you know, Probert, Grimson. Uh, and the other thing to note, too, is his uh, cousin is Joey Kosher, who uh, played in the NHL, of course, uh, primarily with the uh, Detroit Red Wings. And the other notable thing is that he was the captain of the gold medal World Junior Hockey Team in 1985. So always one of my favorite leaps. I've actually met him in person once and got him to autograph a hockey stick. Uh, he's quite the gentleman. You know, grew up in Saskatchewan. He told me stories about growing up and how he actually made the Saskatoon Blades, I think it was. And uh, his dad didn't let him play the first year. Uh, and, and he wanted him to play more hockey at a lower level team. And then he made the team the following year once again. So Wendell Clark, amazing player. Awesome to have picked up these TTMs. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed my first TTM video. Kindly comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.